Hey there, my name is Spencer. I'm a product manager here at Upkeep. And in this video, I'm going to walk through how to create an asset schedule, assign that schedule to an asset, uh, and then demonstrate the effect an asset schedule has on uptime and downtime percentages. So here in the Upkeep application, in if you navigate to the settings area and then navigate into assets, you'll see a new section called operating hours. If you click into operating hours, you'll have a list of schedules. When you first click in, you won't see anything there because you probably haven't built any schedules yet. Uh, but when you first click in, what you want to do is create a new schedule. Now the way a schedule works is you give that schedule a name and then you define the hours, the operating hours that, that you want for you know any assets that will be assigned to this schedule uh, here on this page. So you can click on the days that uh, you know, you expect to operate. So, you know, in this example, I'm going to, you know, say build a schedule which says that, you know, we operate our assets from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. five days a week. So we don't operate on the weekends um, and then, you know, we, we operate, you know, at different hours. And I'm going to say that we we have a one hour sort of lunch break in the middle of the day. So there's one hour in the middle of the day where things are not, um, you know, assets are not operational. So what I can do here is start my time at, you know, I can either pick time in 30 minute intervals here in this drop down, or I can just type something directly in. And in this case, maybe I'm even just going to copy and paste 6 a.m. since we start at 6 a.m. every day. Now what I am going to do is click this little plus button here to create sort of two different shifts, so to speak, within a day. So I'm going to say that I'm first operational from 6 a.m. until... 12 p.m. Okay. And then I'm going to say from 1 p.m. And then again to 10 p.m. So now I have sort of two different windows, a six hour window here and a nine hour window here. And I'm going to go ahead and, and just copy and paste this 12 p.m. schedule in. Copy my one. Get that. That. All right. And then last but not least, close out my schedule for each day. Now I have a new schedule built, which is going to be called demo schedule, and it, you know it operates under these hours. So I can see demo schedule here, and I can click back in if I need to make edits. I'm going to go. I can make edits here. I can you know turn on new days, update the existing days, change the name. So once I've built a schedule, what I can do is come over to my asset list, and now when I'm creating an asset. You'll see here this section called operating hours where I can pick from my list of schedules and assign a demo schedule. It's also possible, I won't show it in this video, but it is also possible to you know, bulk update all of your assets with a schedule here uh, in the, the import view so you can import new assets and, and assign a schedule that way. Or you, know, you can do a bulk update via import to assign all of your existing assets a schedule. Uh, I have one asset which I've already sort of assigned a schedule and, and I'm going to demonstrate how now a schedule works. So this particular asset, if you go to the details, you can see it's on the schedule, which is called testing. So if I look here, my testing schedule operates from you know 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. on Mondays and then from 9 to 9 on every other day of the week. And essentially what's going to happen is since this asset is on a schedule, my up and downtime is going to be based on that schedule, meaning if I have downtime that falls outside of these hours, it's not going to count towards my overall reliability percentages. So for example, right now in the last seven days, I've got 100% uptime and 0% downtime. If you look at my downtime log, you can see that the last downtime I had was on December 14th. Uh, as of this video recording, it is December 27th. So it makes sense that in the past seven days, I've got you know 0% downtime. If I switch this to the last 30 days, now you can see that 
this downtime is captured 12 hours of downtime which began at 9 a.m. so effectively one whole day of downtime from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. and equates on a you know over the course of 30 days equates to 4% roughly 4% downtime 96% uptime but let's switch it back to the seven days and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add downtime and to start I'm gonna say I had five hours of downtime but I'm gonna say that we had that downtime on Sunday. And if you remember, I'll show here in a moment, if you remember the schedule, on Sunday we're not operational. So my expectation actually is that when I add this downtime, my overall uptime and downtime percentages are not impacted. From a schedule perspective, my schedule was not interrupted, so I had 0% downtime. Now let's do another example. Here, let's say I add some downtime, and let's say it was Friday, and let's say that that downtime lasted, oh, 10 hours, and let's say that it started at 3 p.m. So just to kind of illustrate here, 3 p.m. on Friday means that, you know, my schedule lasted until 9 p.m., so that means that I've got six hours of downtime, which should be captured in the afternoon. Even though the, full, the total downtime was 10 hours long, um, you know, it only impacted production from 3 p.m. until 9 p.m. So that's six hours, so if I add that, and then do a quick refresh. So now we can see that our uptime percentage is 91%, our downtime percentage is 9%. This is again over the last seven days. If I look at a custom range, I can look at, you know, on Friday specifically, if I look at Friday on the fifth, uh, you know, from 12-12 to 12-12, that's gonna actually just give me. So I had six hours of downtime from 3 p.m. until 9 p.m. And I had, you know, uptime from 9 a.m. until 3 p.m. So actually, this is a 12 hour window and I had six hours of downtime. So I would expect that I had, you know, 50% uptime and 50% downtime. And if you can see here, when I look at the custom range, uh, basically on a single day, December 22nd, I had 50% uptime and 50% downtime. Uh, last but not least, I'm going to add one more downtime here, and I'm just going to show a full 12 hours of downtime on Thursday, starting at 9 a.m. So again, if we look at our schedule here, if we had 12 hours of downtime starting at Thursday at 9 a.m., that should equate to 100% downtime for Thursday. So I'm gonna add that downtime. Again, I'm gonna update our custom range here to be from 21 to 21. And now you can see 0% uptime and 100% downtime. And that is about it for now. Um, a couple things to note. One is that you know your, your schedule will only calculate downtime based on your schedule starting when you associate the schedule so you know you're not going to impact historic data if you make changes to your schedule or if you assign a new schedule to an asset um, right now basically it will only calculate downtime starting when you associate the schedule uh, and that is about it uh, if you have any questions please don't hesitate to reach out to us at upkeep and we'd love to get them answered for you or if you have any feedback about this feature we'd love to hear that as well thanks so much